Colossians chapter 2 and verse 8. For where lest any man spoil you right. through philosophy and vain deceit right. after the tradition of men. See that, brother? So, Say it in Chinese. What if I didn't speak English? Brother, why are you scoffing, brother? What if I didn't speak English? Why are you scoffing, brother? No, I'm, I'm asking you a question. What if I didn't speak English? Brother, but you do speak English, so the I say question what is I speak English. Brother, it don't matter, because you do. What if I didn't? Huh? What if I didn't? Well, if you did it, we wouldn't be talking. How about you? But you're right, and I would be wrong because I couldn't understand you. No, brother. We, we wouldn't be talking if you spoke Chinese. Right. I'm trying to give you a message, brother, that could possibly save your life in these last days, man. And you, you blatantly rejecting it, trying to be like a... I don't know, brother. I don't know what you're trying to do. I was just going to take a piss. Right. What's going on, Ken? You believe in the Bible? Lost son. You believe in the Bible? Call me the lost son. I've read the Bible multiple times. I, I find it hard to finish the whole way through, but I right. wanted to. You know what I'm saying? That's I'll good, wait. brother. So, you know, it's in our spirit. The Lord said we have a zeal for God, but not according to knowledge. Right? So, right. you know, you should continue reading, brother. Right? right. What's your nationality, Ken? Uh, I can really say I'm African American. I'm African American. So your father would be a so-called black man, right? Right. Right. So you will be an Israelite, brother. And that's what we out here teaching our people. That we gotta repent in these last days. And all of these things are found in the Bible. Right? Give me um, Deuteronomy 28. Deuteronomy chapter 28. And verse 15. Bring it out. But it shall come to pass. If thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe to do all his commandments. And his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. So the Lord told his chosen people, you know about the Israelites, right? Right, they were slaves in Egypt. Give me uh, Exodus 5. Ah. I'm going to show you. Nah, not exactly, not 100%. All right, I'm going to show you. Get uh, Exodus 1. Exodus chapter 1. He's going to get 5. Get Exodus 1. Exodus chapter 1. And verse 13. Bring it, it out. And the Egyptians made the children of Israel to serve right. with rigor. Right. And they made their lives bitter with hard bondage. So the Egyptians made the Israelites slaves, brother. They made them serve with rigor and hard bondage. There's more on that. In mortar and in brick. Right. And in all manner of service in the field. They were working in all manner of service in the field. Just like our forefathers did, right? I would have Bring to ask. Hold would on, have... brother. Hold on, brother. I'm talking to him. Right, I'll, I'll take your question after I finish explaining to him, brother. All right, we do all things decently right. and in order, King. Right. Bring that up. This is the book of Exodus, chapter 5, and verse number 1. Bring it out. And afterward, Moses and Aaron went up and told Pharaoh, Thus saith the Lord God of Israel, Right. Let my people go. What Moses say? Let, let my, my people, people go. go. You familiar with that, right? You seen the prince of Egypt, right? Moses said, let my people go. Right, he had to do that because they were in captivity under the Egyptians. Right? So go back to Deuteronomy 28. So this is after they came out, part of the Red Sea, and now they said joining in the wilderness. Deuteronomy 28, uh, 15. Deuteronomy 28, verse 15. Right. No, but it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, right, to observe to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day, right, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. So the Lord, the Lord told the Israelites, you're going to be cursed if you don't obey my law, statutes, and commandments. Right? Because he just delivered them from Egypt. And this is the condition he gave them. Right? All right, now I did all of this. Now you got to obey me or I'm going to put curses on you. I'm going to put curses on you. Brother, can you have some order? I mean, can you have some order, brother? Who, brother, who built the pyramids? Can you have some who order? Who built the pyramids? I mean, that's what we kind of was talking about. I mean, and... Boy, you got, um, I'd like to grasp on, uh, and attack Brother, do you have any, do you have any decorum? You know what decorum is? Uh, do you know what decorum is, brother? Uh, yes, I'm, 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 uh, I'm, uh, right now? As an elder, you should be more ready to hold your peace. Yeah, I like am elderly. Take. If you're gonna use the words, I uh, yeah, I like elderly. elderly. Yeah, because all you guys are nephews, but, uh, Brother, here we are. Ecclesiastes chapter 5 and verse 1. Here we go. Keep thy foot 
when thou goest to the house of God. What the Lord say? Keep thy foot when thou goest into the house of God. Means hold your peace, brother. Right? Read on, King. And be more ready to hear than to give the sacrifice of fools. You gotta be more ready to hear, Elder. You can't just come out here blurting out. Yeah, the sacrifice of fools. Read. For they consider not that they do evil. That's the sacrifice you're giving, brother. You don't understand that there's edification coming on. And you're just trying to show but, that you have some But just because of the edification, don't make you a fool, you a fool uh, uh, another concept. The book of 1 Corinthians, chapter 14, verse number 40. Bring it out. Let all things be done decently and in order. What did the Lord say? Let, Let all, all things be done decently and in order. order. So the order is this, brother. What's your name, King? William. William. And then I will take your question after. That's, That's right. the order. Peace. All right? F so just hold your peace. The, 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 the chosen one. Out. But you're obviously yeah, not. I can tell. I mean, if, if you're right, the chosen so one, I mean, don't uh, focus on that one. Then we Listen can, to what I'm saying, right? We can go back on that. So the Lord told them you're going to be cursed. Give her 16. Verse 16. Cursed shalt thou be in the city. So when you look around the cities, who's cursed in the city? You go to Norfolk, Portsmouth, Chicago, LA, right? If you go to uh, Baton Rouge, yeah, my right? anywhere you go, my it's us, right? We in the ghettos and the slums, yeah. EBT welfare, yeah. can't catch a break. That's us, yeah. right? Right? Yeah. Read on. And cursed shalt thou be in the field. Who is cursed in the field? In the literal field. Picking cotton, tobacco leaves. Us. Getting beat on, right? Us. So the That's Lord right. told them, "You don't keep my commandments, you're gonna be cursed in the city, and you're gonna be cursed in the field." Right? Um, get verse thirty. Verse thirty, right? Thou shalt betroth a wife, right? You shall take a woman to wife, read, and another man shall lie with her. Who suffers from that? Who raps about that? Lying with another brother's woman. I, I take, I take a brother. You know what I'm saying? Really? I, I FSB. Don't rap about that, right? right? That's like a symbol of, uh, of manhood around here, right? That's right. what that's Same our culture. Mode. Continuous thing. Right. Everything brother. is continuous. Right. You see that? Right. This is in the Bible. That's a curse. That's not normal. The Chinese right. man ain't over there rapping about how he gonna take the next China man woman from him. Right. That's He's right. not doing that. You see what I'm saying? Right. It's our people, brother. That's the right. Arab man not doing that. Right. Right? Give me another one. Man. 32. Right. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people. Right? And thine eyes shall look and fail with longing for them all the day long. That happened to us, brother. When we were slaves, right, you might have been in Virginia on the Johnson Plantation. But on auction day, your children might be sold all the way to damn Alabama to the damn uh, Franklin's. That's you know right, what I'm saying? Right. you never see your children again. That's why you walk around, you go to another state, you see a brother that looks just like you. Because yeah. we were sold, brother. Right? right. Sister, come hear the word, sister. Come hear the word. Right? So this is, this these things happen to our people. Right? These are curses. It's not normal. Right? Uh, get another one. 37. Verse 37. And thou shalt become an astonishment. The Lord said we would be an astonishment. When these other nations see us, it's astonishing to them the conditions we're in. We're all packed in the ghettos, right? Like rats, right? Our men are walking around, wanting to be thugs, killing each other, right? Smoking weed. This is the things we glorify. Our women out here twerking on top of cars. Just madness. These other people, these Arab women ain't doing that, right? These Chinese men ain't doing that. We're astonishing to these other people. Read on. And thou shalt become an astonishment, right? A proverb. A proverb is a wise saying, right? It's some wise sayings on our people, right? Uh, give me some wise sayings, fellas. Yeah, if you want to uh, hide something from a nigga, put it in the book. You want to hide something from a nigga, put it in the book. What's we another? Love What's we another? love uh, chicken. We love chicken. We love watermelon. watermelon. These are the stigmas on our people, right? This is a curse, right? right. Read on. And a byword. A byword. Meaning we be called things outside of our God-given nationality. That's right. Like I asked you your nationality, you said what? African American. Sister, what's your nationality? I'm West African and Haitian. You West African and Haitian? What's your father? He's West African. He's West African? From where? From Guinea. From Guinea? No, he's from Liberia. My mom's from Guinea. Yeah. Okay. I will have to do some research on that. They're most likely Israelite. Yeah, what sure. kind of traditions you guys have? You guys do eight day circumcision? Um, yeah, like for the females, like what? Like, they stopped that like a while ago. The guys who get circumcised. Right. Okay. I'm asking because sometimes it's a little harder for us to identify people in Africa. So I'm going to have to get the, you know, the research out. But you might be this white sister. Just be very witness. Right? Alright, okay. Right? Read on, King. Among all nations, whether the Lord shall lead. Right, get up 48. Listen to this one, brother. Verse 48. Right? Therefore shalt thou serve thy enemies. So the Lord told the Israelites, you're going to serve your enemies, read. Which the Lord shall sin against thee. Right? 
And hungry. And hungry. Meaning when you hungry, brother, what are some things you like to go eat? You said when I'm hungry? Yeah, when you hungry, what, what, where you go to eat? What about food? I'm gonna be honest, I mean, I like a good steak. I like a good chicken sandwich. Where you get it from? Uh, I mean, I get it from the usual, whatever is around here. We What's the name of place, brother? Right here. For, I guess, a steak, I mean, I would say Outback. Who owns Outback? Sure, I would say the white man. The white man, right? right. What yeah. about Walmart? I would say the white man. What about Harris The white man. So read it again from the top. Therefore Damn. shalt thou serve thine enemies, right? which you the Lord have a shall sin against thee, right? and hunger. And hunger, you got to serve your enemies. You can't come to me and get food. You got to right. go to these people's establishments. Right, right, exactly, every single day. Right. Every right. single part of your function of your day. Right. You have to literally sit here and go through. Right. Yeah. That's right. So I'm going to read it again for the elder. So elder, we out here teaching our people that we will be the Israelites according to the Bible. So this is one of the curses the Lord put on his people for disobeying his commandments. Read it again from the top. Man. Verse 48. Right. Therefore shalt thou serve thine enemies. The Lord said the Israelites will have to serve their enemies. Read. Which the Lord shall send against them. Right. And hunger. And hunger. So I was just asking the brother, what are some things you like to eat, huh? When you hungry, what's your favorite place to go to? Everywhere. Everywhere? <laughs> like what? Name what? Hey, you know, boy. Hey, you boy. Oh, Lord. Well, we gonna, we gonna touch on that, too. Yeah. All right, Elder, so we got Harris Teeter. Who owns Harris Teeter? Who owns uh, uh, Papa John's? What about Food Line? What about Chick-fil-A? Right, right, anywhere you can name, Elder, you got to go to your enemies to get food because you got to serve them in hunger, read on. And in thirst. And in thirst. If you want water, right, it falls free from the sky, right, and they catch it, they bottle it up, and they say, here, this is the Sani, it's two ninety nine. So you got to serve your enemies in thirst, That's read right. on. And in nakedness. And in nakedness. I realize I get ghosts with some bitches a whole bunch of Right, but it's a curse. Does the Chinese man have to come over here to get food or can you go to China? Nah, they already in China. They already, already have China. their own food. That's right. right. They, own, right. right. they, That's they right. got their own right. What about the Arab man? have to come to America to get food? <laughs> he can go to his own people, right? They got right. oil fields and all type of stuff, That's man. That's right. They live, in, they live in wealthy over there. Right, drive around in Bugatti's million dollar cars. Gee. But we have to go to who? Who we got to go to to eat? We got to go to you said we got a what? No, man. We don't watch this, Elder. Hold on, hold on. Let, Look, I can go, I can let me go finish there the with you. I feel you. Let, let me finish the verse. Watch this, Elder. And in what of all things? In what of no. all things, no. right? Me so the clothes on your back? No, no. You picked all the cotton, but you have to go get your clothes from where? What? Man, just the no. local no. shops or anywhere that you might go to for right. a trip or right. whatnot. Man. But who owns the leaders, brother? No. The white man. What about Nike? The white man. What about Champion? White man. So who do you gotta go to to get your clothes? Then we picked White all the man. cotton in slavery. <laughs> yes, sir, we we picked all the damn cotton, and we still can't come to each other to get cotton. That's right. We gotta go to someone else. That's right. a curse, brother. That's right. 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 So you gotta serve. All right, Elder, you'll be an Israelite according to the Bible. You That's right. Keep the commandments, okay? Yeah. All right, Elder. You got any questions? No questions. I know we are. All right, Elder. So, uh, and one of all things, okay? So, uh, ID card, a birth certificate. Driver's license, you want an education, you gotta go to their establishments, you wanna right. start a business, you gotta go get a bank loan from their institution. Right. right, these are curses, it's not normal. Read on. And he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck. He shall what? And, and he, he shall, shall put, put a yoke of iron upon, upon thy, thy neck. neck. Who did that happen to, brother? You know the history? Who had yokes of iron? Big giant metal shackles on their neck. Who did that? Somebody Google yoke of iron. For I'm coming up with it. I mean, I, I mean. I'm gonna show, he gonna show you, he gonna show you on this phone. I think of the one person, but I don't, I don't I'm gonna show you, man. I like that. Y'all, y'all tough. I'm gonna be honest. Y'all tough. Check this out, buddy. You tough too, man. Okay? You okay walking this way, man? When you Google yokes of iron, we come up. We don't let people on the planet that have yokes of iron. What did that happen to? I'm not us. Us, right? Right, we didn't. When we came and got off those slave ships, brother, was we just walking around willy nilly doing what we wanted to do? Mm. We were shackled and chained, right? That's right. We were treated as cattle, as livestock. Read it again, King. And he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck. Your enemy is gonna put a yoke of iron upon your neck, Rick. Uh, until he have destroyed. Until you. you were destroyed, right? So read it again. And he. Listen, and he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck 
until he have destroyed you. So it was prophesied the yokes of iron wouldn't always be on. But once we were destroyed, they would come off, right? Because now you calling yourself what? Black, African American. I'm a nigga, right? I'm American, right? Right. It's difficult to come. Right. So that's why we're destroyed, brother, because we have no knowledge of self anymore. Right. We don't know who our God is. We don't know who we come from, who our kings were, right? Our, our ancient mighty men. We don't know any of these things. We just think we here. We just black in America, and we got to do what we got to do to get rich. It's a siege. The Lord never said that, right? The Lord said, y'all the Israelites, and if you leave my commandments, you're going to die. That's what he said. That's right. You understand? Right? Give verse 68. Oh, verse, matter of fact, give 54. Verse 54. Right? So that the man that is tender among you and very delicate. Right, so we used to be tender and delicate amongst each other, right? You see a brother walking down the street, you you know, you ask him how you doing, how's your family, right? You kind of watch over the community, the neighborhood, you know your you know your neighbor's children, right? Because it's your people, right? So we, we were a tight-knit community, right? He said the man that is tender among you and very delicate, Rick. His eye shall be evil toward his brother. His eye shall be evil toward his brother. Right, that's black on black crime. That's right. Right, that's gang violence. That's right. That's mean mugging. That's right. That's, that's a nigga better not look twice. That's you feel right. Me? That's our mentality. We got an evil eye toward each other, brother. That's why we out here killing each other. Because we have right. no knowledge of self. That's Remember, right. Remember, them chains came off after we were destroyed. Mm -hmm. Now I look at you as just another nigga. That's I don't right. look at you and see the son of God. I look at you and see a black man. Mm -hmm. A product of right. slavery. That's you right. understand? That's how we destroy. It. Right? right. Every day. And toward the wife of his bosom. Toward the wife of his bosom. We can't get along with our women. Right? The Lord established the order. That's when you right. read 1 Corinthians 11 and 1, he said the man is the head of the woman. That's right. Right? right. But we right. constantly button hands with our women. But you say one thing, she say another. Right? She wants the she wants the house ran this way, but you want it done that way. Right? And we can't get along. Right? And then you even got uh, domestic violence. Mm -hmm. right? right? We out here hitting on our women, and women hitting on the men, right? right. It says toward the wife of his bosom, right? And toward the remnant of his children, right? Which he shall leave. Which he shall what? Which, which he, he shall leave. leave. Who's known for leaving their children? Us, right? That's right. Right. right? If you if you if you take a, a vote of probably a hundred black men who grew up with their fathers, you let to believe like 50, 60 of them will tell you, you know, I don't even know who my father is. That's right. You know what I'm saying? Like that that's that's a that's a plague in our community. Mm. The Lord said we'll be leaving our children in these last days all because we don't keep his commandments. That's right. Right? Because we destroy for lack of knowledge. Right? Give verse 68. Verse 68. Right? And, and the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. So the Lord, remember, Moses just brought them out of Egypt. But what the Lord brought them out of Egypt via Moses. Right? He told them, let Pharaoh let my people go. So the Lord said, I'm going to bring you back into Egypt. What were they doing in Egypt? What were the Israelites doing in Egypt? Uh, tell me. You want me to tell you? Yes. Yeah, right, get Judah 5 and 11. Judah 5 and 11. <laughs> oh, you're so tough. I'm going to be honest. You're tough. You have all of these things memorized. And that's the way a lot of this world needs. It's just true. I'm going to show you, brother. I'm going to show you how to get there. Yeah. Ooh, this is the book of Judah, chapter 5, verse number 11. Bring it out. Therefore, the king of Egypt rose up against them. Right. And dealt suddenly with them. Right. And brought them low, right? With labor and brick, he brought the children of Israel with low, with labor and brick, read, and made them slaves. And he did what? And he made, made them, them slaves. slaves. He made them slaves. So what were the children of Israel doing in Egypt? They were slaves. All right. So read it again. Can I put slavery there? Verse, verse sixty-eight. And the Lord shall bring thee into slavery again. How do we get to America? What mode of transportation? Read. And the Lord shall bring thee into slavery again with ships. How do we get here? With, with ships. ships. On the boat. With, with, with ships. ships. That's how we got here, brother. With ships. We were brought into slavery on ships. Read on. By the way whereof I spake unto thee. The same way he said it's going to happen, it's going to happen. Read. Thou shalt see it no more again. We've never seen our homeland again. I don't even right. know where you come from, right? We didn't either until we got into these scriptures. And you'll never see it again, read. And there... Ye shall be sold unto your enemies. And there, once you got off those slave ships, you'll be sold to your enemies. Right. Exactly. Who was we sold to? Everybody. Everybody. Who? Every white man. Who was we sold to, brother? I feel like the white man. The white, white man, right? Hey, brother, you don't got to be white ashamed. Man. We were sold to the damn white man. That's right. right. That's what the Bible speaks of, man. man. And all these companies continue it. Right. Continue it. That's right, brother. Continue That's right. Once we got off those ships, we were sold to our enemies for what? 
for bond men, slave men, and bond women, slave women. And no man shall buy you. And no one could get us back out of that condition, bro. That's right. Martin Luther King, Malcolm X, any black leader that rose up got put to death. Or they got exiled and died. Right? So we, if these, can the Chinese man read everything we just read to you and say that happened to my people? We had yokes of honor on our necks. What about the Arab man? Does the Arab man hate his brother? Did he, did he, did he go to slavery on ships? What about the white man? Did the white man, did the white man get his children taken from him? That didn't happen to him, right? So if the Lord said these things would happen to the Israelites, who must we be? Who must we be, brother? Give verse 46. It's crazy if you're telling, you me, telling me what you're <laughs> you telling me. What you telling me. Verse 46. Break it out. And they shall be upon thee. The curses shall be upon the Israelites. Read. For a sign. For a sign. And a wonder. And a wonder. And upon thy seed forever. And upon your children forever. So in the last days when we were destroyed for lack of knowledge, when we would reject the Lord, these curses would be a sign right. to the Israelites who they would be in these last days because they wouldn't have that knowledge anymore. Right? It would be taken from them and stripped from them through hundreds and hundreds of years of oppression, of slavery, of hard labor, brick and mortar. These things were taken from us, brother. Right? But the Lord said that uh, these curses will be a sign. So a sign is like that Harris Teeter, right? If you look around and you see that big Harris Teeter, you know you can go there and get certain things, right? But when you see that, that bank sign, you know you can go there and deposit money and do what you got to do, right? So these curses are a sign unto us in these last days who we are because we don't know anymore, right? So if the Lord said these things will happen to the Israelites, who must we be? Who must we be, brother? Brother, brother, we will be the Israelites, brother. That's right. According to the Bible. That's who you are, King. You're not black. You're not African American. That's two continents. Named after two white men. Yep, Leo right. Scipio's Africanus, right? And the Marigold Vespucci. Both white men. Both had land masses named after them. You don't come from two white men, right? That's what we're here to teach you, brother. You will be an Israelite, King, according to the Bible. That's your nationality. Those are the men you come from. You understand that? You got any questions? That's crazy. It is, brother. Go ahead, bring it out. Listen to this, brother. He got a precept for you. This, um... You can't go yet, brother. You can't go yet. I got a couple things you got to know. It's a couple things you got to know. It's What's your name again, King? William, it's a couple things you got to know, William. All right? It's a couple things you got to know. He can step on the devil. Yeah, he can step on the devil. It's cool. It's a couple things you got to know before you go, brother. Right now that you know you're an Israelite king, there's certain things the Lord requires of you. What you got? I got um, scripts because the brother made a statement that the, um, the enemy, they keep, um, the companies nowadays, they keep continuing it on, right? But um, this, this is going to let you know the nation of people that's doing it. And the scriptures. This is Psalms 137 and verse 7. Break it out. Remember, O Lord, the children of Edom in the day of Jerusalem. Who said, raise it, raise it, like you just said, the companies continue to do it. That's right. Even to the foundation thereof. Yeah. O daughter of Babylon, who art to be destroyed, happy shall he be that rewardeth thee as thou hast served us. Right. Happy shall he be that taketh and dasheth thy little ones against the stones. All right, break it down, okay? Yeah, man, so the brother ain't, he ain't get into it yet, but there's that, the, the enemy, the brother actually he is getting into it, the breakdown of Deuteronomy 28, we were sold to our enemies. But the enemies, we have, as actually a nation of people, the main chief of them, were, which would be the Edomites, according to the Bible, which would be the so-called white people today. That's right. right. Yeah, you find it out in, in Genesis, the 25th chapter, who that right. who that um, man comes from, right? right? Right. You get into that, you stay, you know what I'm saying? Come on. Come on. Some okay. good knowledge. So look, it's a couple things you got to know. It's more than just knowing that you're an Israelite, that you're a son of God, right? Bring that up. This is the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 12, verse number 13. Bring it up. Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Right. Fear God and keep, and keep his commandments. Right. For this it's is the whole duty of man. The whole purpose of us being on this earth, brother, going through what we went through, so that we could come back to the most high in these last days and serve him in truth and in sincerity. Right. Alright? So you gotta come back to your nationality, to your heritage. Stop being a nigga in these streets, a black man, right? And come back and be an Israelite, brother. Right. So That's these right. are some of the things the Lord told us that we would have to do. Right? What you got, man? This is Numbers chapter 15, verse 38. Bring it out. 
speak unto the children of Israel, right? And bid them that they make them fringes in the borders of their garments. So if you look at every brother up here, we have fringes in the borders of their garments, right? That's right. Give me Matthew 19:16. We got fringes in the borders of our garments, not because we woke up one day and said, let's start a trend, right? right? Or let's do something cool, right? right? It's because the Lord said it, brother. Read on. Right. Bid them that they make them fringes in the borders of their garments throughout right. their generations. Throughout our generation, right? And that they put upon the fringe of the borders a ribbon of blue. So we, if every brother has a ribbon of blue. Regardless of the color of the fringe, you have to have that ribbon of blue, right? Read on. And it shall be unto you for a fringe right. that ye may look upon it and remember all the commandments of the Lord. So it's a constant reminder to keep the commandments, read. Right? And, and do them. And what? And, and do, do them. them. You gotta do the commandments, brother. Read on. And that ye seek not after your own heart and your own eyes, after which ye used to go a horn. So you, you wanna get fringes, so it's a constant reminder. When you're about to break one of the Lord's laws, cause we've been in this world for so long, we so used to going through the motions. And, and, and the things we were brought up with, which were contrary to the Most High, have become normal and natural to us. Right? So we got to be renewed in our minds in these last days. That's we got to right. put those things aside, put your fringes on to remind you to keep the commandments. Now this is a commandment that these fringes will remind you of. Right? Re bring that up. Okay? This is the book of Leviticus, chapter 11, and verse number 7. Bring it out. And the swine, though he divide the hoof, and be cloven-footed, right? yet he chewed not the cud. You know what swine is? What's swine? Swine is pork, brother. It's pork. A pig. Right? That's what swine is. Read it again, King. And the swine. And the pig. Though he divide the hook. Right? And be cloven footed. He has some traits of a clean animal, read. Yet he chews not the cud. He doesn't properly digest his food, read. He is unclean to you. He is what? He, he is, is unclean, unclean to you, you. read. Of their flesh shall you not eat. Uh huh. And their carcass shall you not touch. Come on. They are unclean to you. So the pig, brother, you shouldn't be eating. It's a dirty, filthy, nasty animal. That's right. right. It was literally put here to clean up the earth. Right? All that bacon. Right. That's what they gave us in slavery. That's right. Right? They gave us they gave us the insides of the pig. That's why people eat chitlins today. So a pig is a disgusting animal. Right? When it takes in its food, right, it doesn't have a way to expel the toxins or anything that it eats. And a pig will eat anything. Right? Right? right. It'll eat poop. Right, right, eat his own vomit. Right, I've heard. Yeah, brother, so you can't. Oh, praises, brother, so you can't eat that pig, man. You gotta put the pork chops down, put that bacon down. Right, they got all types of bacon. They got lamb bacon, you got turkey bacon, chicken bacon, beef bacon. You got all types of bacon. You don't gotta eat that pig, man. And the Lord gave you all types of clean animals to eat. All right, read on, King. Verse 9. These shall you eat of all that are in the water. This is what you can eat that comes out of the water. Read. Whatsoever hath fins and scales in the water. Has to have fins and scales. In the seas and in the rivers. All right. Them shall ye eat. So if it has to have fins and scales, what can you eat? Fish, right? Fish, right. Right? All right. My watch is read on. And all that have not fins and scales in the seas right. and in the rivers, right. of all that move in the waters, mm -hmm. and of any living thing which is in the waters, they shall be an abomination unto you. They shall what? They, they shall, shall be, be an abomination, abomination unto you. you. So what can't you eat? And out of the water. What can you eat out of the water? You already said it. Fish. You can eat fish. It has to have fins and scales. All right. Right. So you can't. You can't. Eat, you can't eat anything without fins and scales. So shrimp. Crab, lobster, all those things are bottom feeders. That's right. Right, right. right. Like they're, they're like the uh, the lower part of right, like the brother. Fish. Right, like, right. There's you like a scale for fish. Water is? Right. You see how nasty this water looks? It looks right. Oh brown. yeah, nasty as fuck. I wouldn't even want because, to swim. Because because you got all of these in like the last five years, I think like 20 different seafood spots opened up around here. Right, they're literally overfishing uh, the seas. Right, overfishing the bottom we feeders. We ain't right? not. I mean, most of the time, where do you think that stuff comes from? So what's the best seafood place? Did brother, you can even go, brother, you can only you can area. only eat fish, brother, with fins and scales. That's right. Hey, but from here though, trout, you got no, brother. You can go buy some some fish now, but you gotta, <laughs> gotta have fins and scales, all right? Right. So you can eat what trout, bass, snapper, snapper, right? You got all type of fish you can eat, man. Right. You just don't want to mess with them bottom feeders, man. You're poisoning yourself. Yeah. 
right? right. Get, um, they yeah. like the cockroaches of the sea. That's, that's right. what it that's is. Right. That's, that's exactly right, right bro. Shrimps. Cockroaches that's of that's the exactly sea. That's exactly right. That's right. 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 So you got the big fish that swim, and they poop. And you got the, the shrimp and the krill, and you got the damn crabs at the bottom cleaning it up. Give me that poop. <laughs> For real, brother. That's that's how it happens. Bring that up. Exodus uh, 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 20. It's the book of Exodus, chapter 20, and verse number 8. Break it out. Remember this Sabbath day to keep it holy. All right. Six days shalt thou labor. So the Lord said, remember the Sabbath day. Six days shall you labor, right? Read. And do all thy work. Right. But the seventh day is the Sabbath of the Lord thy God. The seventh day is the Sabbath of the Lord. Right. Read. In it thou shalt, shalt do. It's like it. In it, thou shalt not do any work. So you can't work on the Sabbath day. What would be the seventh day of the week? Uh, I guess the, since the first day, I guess it's supposed to be Sunday. It would be like Saturday. Be That's right, brother. Right. So That's Saturday, right. brother, is the Lord's Sabbath. It's not Sunday like they tell you on Christian church. That's right, right. Your common sense will tell you that when you look at a calendar. Right? So the Lord said, six days shall you labor and do all your work. The Lord said, we above all people. Right, and you know that, brother. You know we better than everybody. We run the fastest. We jump the highest. We produce LeBron James, Serena Williams, Mike Tyson. right? Mike Tyson. You got Odell Beckham, right? Every, we're the greatest people to ever walk the face of this earth. That's man. right. Right. The Lord made us that way. Uh -huh. He set us apart. He said these are my people. He created 18 different nations. He said these other people they dogs, but these people right here, this is my people. This is who I want to serve me, right? So that's what we are here to teach you, brother. Right? Bring this out. Real quick. Matthew chapter 19, verse 16. Bring it out. And behold, one came and said unto him, Right. Good master, what good thing shall I do that I may have eternal life? Right. And he said unto him, What did Christ say? Why callest thou me good? Christ said, Why callest thou me good? There is none good but one that is God. Right. But if thou wilt enter into life. You want to get the kingdom of heaven, brother, read. Keep the commandments. What did the Lord say? Keep, keep the, the commandments. commandments. What we got to do? Keep, keep the, the commandments. commandments. We got to keep the commandments, brother. So we just brought out some commandments for you. Christ said if we want to enter into life, right, in the kingdom of heaven and receive that that, uh, that eternal salvation and that glory, right, you got to keep the commandments. That's, That's why right. we're bringing out those commandments, brother. Yeah. Right? That's Bring it right. out. Revelations chapter 22, verse 14. Bring it out. Blessed are they that do his commandments. What did the Lord say? Blessed, Blessed are, are they, they that do his, his commandments. commandments. Right? That they may have right to the tree of life and may enter and through the gates into the city. Hey, brother, so you'll be blessed when you keep these commandments. Point blank. That's why, brother, you see young men out here, right, trying to keep the charge of the Lord. That's right. right. Trying to be perfect. Right? Give me um, 1 Kings 8 and uh, 61. Bring it out. The book of 1 Kings, chapter 8, verse number 61. Bring it out. And it says thus. Let your heart therefore be perfect with the Lord our God. Right. To walk in his statutes. Right. And to keep his commandments. Uh -huh. As at this day. See that? So we got to let our hearts be perfect with the most high, brother. And you do that. Give me uh, Psalms 19 and 7. This is, how you, this is how you make your heart perfect. Right? Like the Lord commanded. 19 and 7. Or 119. Seven. Psalms chapter 19. And verse 7. Bring it out. The law of the Lord is perfect. The what? The, the law, law of the Lord, Lord is perfect. What's fringes? The, the law of the Lord is perfect. What's not eating pork? The, the law of the Lord is perfect. What's keeping the Sabbath day? The law of the Lord is perfect. Read. Converting the soul. The testimony of the Lord is sure. Right. Making wise the simple. So that's how you be perfect, brother. You got to keep the law. And it's not hard. It's not grievous to keep the law. If you love the Lord, you will keep his commandments. That's right. right? Give me that. Give me that in John, can we the love of God. So this is the love of God, brother. And that's what we're showing you, the love of God. God gave us these things because he loved us. Right? Science today will tell you that if you eat pork, you'll probably get gout, hypertension, high blood pressure. Them you up, can get small, like small worms that can, you can get in your brain, right, from eating pork. But now we, we now people starting to stay away from it because science says it. But the Lord wrote this 4,000 years ago, right? Imagine if we would just been keeping this the whole time. Imagine how healthy we would be, right? <laughs> you understand? Right. right? Bring that out, okay? The book of 1 John, chapter 5, and verse number 2. Bring it out. By this, we know that we love the children of God. Right? 
when we love when we love God and keep his commandments. That's how you know you love the children of God. When you love God and keep his commandments, read. For this is the love of God. What is? That we keep his commandments. That we what? That, that we, we keep, keep his, his commandments. commandments. The love of God is the keeping of the commandments, brother. And his commandments are not grieving. And it's not hard to do. It ain't hard to stop eating pork, brother. Right? You can find put fringes on your shirt. You understand? Right? So who will be an Israelite man? Alright? You gotta repent, brother. Can you say that? Can you say you're an Israelite, brother? Say it. Come on, brother. Come on, brother. Come on, Come brother. Come on, brother. Is what you are, brother. Huh? Let me say it, brother. Israelite, brother. Israelite. What are you, brother? A what? Come on, brother. So you gotta keep the commandments. All right, King. You got any questions? You got no questions? Nah, y'all. You ain't crazy. I'm gonna be honest. You probably at least named like definitely over 20, 20 verses. Oh, uh, praise me. Give me Psalms uh, 111 and 10. We're going to show you how to get to this. Every brother can go into the scriptures and do what I just did, brother. It's not us, it's the Lord. That's right. I'm going to be honest. I got get it. That. Oh, I got I'm it. Gonna, let, me get you these, let me get you these last two. Let me get you these last two. Last get John two. 12 last, two. Last, last two. Last two. Last two. Last two, brother. You love the Lord, right? Let me get these last two. Yes. Man. Start it, man. I'm going to get these also, last two. I got to be. <laughs> Alright, brother. Let me get these last two. <laughs> I got to be. I'm going to visit myself. Listen to this. Y'all know how to be. Bring this wisdom. John chapter 12, verse 28. Bring it out. Bring it out. Uh, oh. Check this out, brother. And it reads, I Father, glorify thy name. No, it's all in me. Father, glorify thy name. So we out here to glorify the Father, brother. Not not any one of us up here. That's right? right? Bring that out, man. The book of Psalms, chapter 111, and verse number 10. Bring it out. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. So when you fear the Lord and keep his commandments, right, you fear that if you leave his statutes and his commandments, you're going to get judged. That's right. might put you to death. You might take your children away from you. Anything right. can happen, brother. It's right. all the Lord. So the fear of the Lord is the beginning of what? The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. Read on. A good understanding have all they that do his commandments. So a good understanding you will receive when you do his commandments, brother. Yeah. All right? So that's how brothers are able to come up here and go into the scriptures the way we do. That's right. Because we fear the right. Lord and we keep the commandments, King. So you got a flyer? You got a flyer? I got both of the flyers. All right, brother. The YouTube is on the first one you got. All right, check the YouTube out, King. Okay. All right, the first one. All right brother. Somebody get right, the brother me, math. Man. Let me let me get my dap up, man. <laughs> y'all did, did great, man. All right, brother. All right, man. You're Israel, I know y'all practice for this. I'm I know, I know that y'all did y'all shit. Put the number up there when you came. Oh, I got, yeah, I had definitely made it. You know how do you know we done great? How do we prove that we done great? You know how? You should have been straight out, okay? Dude, 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 God, I feel like y'all remain. Y'all believe in the Bible family? Y'all Christians? I feel like y'all are here. Y'all believe, believe in the Savior, Jesus Christ? Oh, you sorry. You good, King. You good, man. Hit me up, man. You can join us, man. Y'all know who this is? Out here with us, man. Right, right, right. Y'all know who this is, family? Right. Devil bless right. me, King. Y'all so, too. who did they tell us this is? Yeah. <laughs> they told us this was the devil? Yeah. We grew up believing this was the devil? Yeah. How? The horns. No, 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 no. Forget the horns, right? Just look at his face. Who did they tell us this is? I'm serious. I came from Alabama and we we learned that that was supposed to be the devil. So we oh, that we're going to look that like that. Right, so you know what Christ really looked like? Me. That's right. That's, right. That's what we had to teach. We had to teach our people that we would be the Israelites according to the Bible. That's right. Right. Yeah. And we know this through various scriptures. Right. Okay. Let, me, let me show you a couple. All right. Yeah. Get uh get Isaiah 42 22. Get um, Ecclesiastes 10. How can I look like that man when I was the first one here? <laughs> right, I'm going to show you. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 42, verse number 22. Bring, Bring it out. out. But this is a people robbed and spoiled. Haven't we been robbed and spoiled? Downtrodden and oppressed? Yeah. Right, read on. They are, they, are all of, they are all of them snared in hope. Right. 
and they are hid in prison houses. They are hid where? They, they are, are hid, hid in, in prison, prison houses. houses. Who's hid in prison houses, though? Don't we, we know that. We know who's hid in prison, man. We, I mean, we fill it up, right? We, we 12 percent of the country, right. but yet still we make it up. 75 percent of the people. That's the right. I read it's 85. 85? See that? That's crazy, right? Yeah. We hid in prison houses, man. Right? Bring this up. Please uh, ask you something. Ten and verse seven. Bring it out. I have seen servants upon horses. You see that? He seen servants upon horses. You remember when the uh, the Haitian refugees tried to come over? What was this last year? Yep. Early this year? Right. When the Haitian refugees tried to come over, and those those white men were policing them on those horses, hitting them. You, so, you remember that? So the Lord said, I have seen servants on horses, Rick, and princes walking as servants and princes walking as servants right. right that means the lord's people have been brought to a very low estate they're now serving the people they were supposed to be set over that's right right they're now robbed and spoiled hidden prison houses give me uh deuteronomy 28 and uh and uh 48. this is the book of deuteronomy chapter 28 verse number 48. bring it out therefore shalt thou serve thine enemy so the lord gave us a condition if we didn't want to keep his commandments he will put these curses upon us. And this is one of them. Read it again. Therefore, shalt thou serve thine enemies. We will have to serve our enemies how? Which the Lord shall send against thee. Uh-huh. And hunger. So when we hungry, we got to go to our enemy. Right? Like if I wanted to go to Harris Teeter, who owns Harris Teeter? You know who owns Harris Some guy we don't know that look, don't look like us. If I wanted to go to Burger King, who owns that? Well, every now I, I think uh, Shaquille O'Neal owns a couple, but you know, you don't own the majority. Yeah, of he don't. He don't. He he's not. He, yeah, he's not. He, he's he, no shot caller. He bought in, but he's not the CEO of, yeah. of Burger King. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah, he's no uh, shot caller. Right. So, what about Walmart? Same thing. Same. The same thing. Same. So the Lord said same we have to serve Walmart. our enemies in hunger. Meaning, you can't come to me to get your daily supplies of, of, of sustenance. You got to go to your enemy. Read on. And in thirst. Same thing. When you thirsty, right? Water's free, right? But they bottle it up and sell it to you, right? Yeah. You got to serve your enemy in thirst. I don't own this on you. This brother's family don't own a, a, a deer park, right? Or any of those things, right? So we got to serve our enemies in thirst, Rick. And in nakedness. And when we naked, we need clothes. We picked all the cotton in slavery, but we still got to go to Hanes to get a shirt for our back, right? We got to go to Nike to put shorts on. We got to go to Dita to get shoes and a hat, right? So we got to serve our enemies in nakedness now, right? Because we don't own any textile mills. We picked all the cotton, and we don't have any type of cotton resources. Same right. thing Jesse Jackson said uh, 50 years ago. He says like, yo, man, we don't own no airplanes. We're bringing no drugs in this country. So, <laughs> right. Go ahead. Let me show you what he didn't say. Read on. And in want of all things. So you got to serve your enemy in one of all things. Right? Whatever you want. You want an ID card. Right? You lose your wallet. You got to go to the DMV. Right? We don't own that stuff. Right? You want an education. You got to go to their institutions. You want a loan start a business you got to go to their banks you got to get the equipment from for your business from their stores right. right we don't own anything we serve them in one of all things read on read on and he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck what is he gonna do and, and he, he shall, shall put, put a yoke, yoke of iron, iron upon, upon thy, thy neck. neck who did that happen to who had, who had yokes of iron on their necks we did we did that's right. right that's right King. so if the lord is talking to the israelites and said these things will happen who must we be? Does the Chinese man, did he have yokes of iron on his neck? Does he have to come serve the white man for food? They tried, they tried. Okay, but can like, he go to China? He, he went back and said no he, can, he has his own nation, right, that he can go to. What about the Arab man? He has his own nation. He never had yokes of iron on his neck, right? So the Lord said these things would happen to his people, right? They would be hid in prison houses, have yokes of iron on their neck. Who must we be? Huh? They want to put the label who, who must we be, brother? Kings. If the Lord is talking to the Israelites, who kings, must we be? I, I've always been told we were kings. Give me verse 68. Give me uh, Deuteronomy 29 verse 1. I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna show you, Elder. I'm gonna show you who we are. This yeah, the book. I give you two more minutes, man, and I gotta take care of it. Take care of it. Alright. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, and verse number 68. Bring it out. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. So you remember the story of Moses, right? Yes. What did, why did he have to deliver his people? What were his people doing in Egypt? They were slaves. They were slaves. So he's telling you, the Lord's going to bring you, if you don't keep my commandments, I'm going to bring you into Egypt again, into slavery again. Read it from the top. 
And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. To slavery again. How do we get to America? We brought over here. Red. With ships. With what? With, with ships. ships. On the bus. With, with ships. ships. On the plane. With, with ships. ships. We came here on ships. Red. By the way whereof I spake unto thee. The way he said it's going to happen, it's going to happen. Thou shalt see it no more again. You'll never see your homeland again, Rick. And there. And ye, there, once you got off those slave ships, Rick. Ye shall be sold unto your enemies. We'll be sold to who? Unto your enemies. enemies. So we were sold to our enemies once we got off those ships for what? That's for bond right. men. For slave men. And bond women. And slave women. And no man shall buy you. And no one could redeem us. What happened to Martin Luther King? What happened to Malcolm X? What about Marcus Garvey? No one can redeem us but the Lord because the Lord put us in this condition. That's right. So can a man move his hand and do anything for our people? We have to come back to the Lord in these last days. That's what we are here telling our people. That's bring right. that out, man. What you got? Oh, bring that out. Exodus chapter 1 and verse 1. Bring it out. Now these are the names of the children of Israel. Of the who? Of, of the, the children, children of Israel. Israel. Elder, if the Lord is talking to the children of Israel, who must we be? We the children of That's Israel. Right, That's right, Elder. Elder. That's right. Yo, man. Thank y'all. All right, Elder. You an Israelite. You got to repent and keep the commandments, Elder. All right? I'm good. No, no Elder. Not. We not good. You might I'm, be I'm good. I'm trying to get good. That's good. what I our mean. Our young men are getting put to death in these streets. That's right. Right? We are killing each other. Pouring out our women. Right? I understand that. We have no moral compass in America. We just do what we want to do. Right. Alistair right. Crawley. Do what thou wilt. Right? We out here just doing anything. So we not, we not good, Elder. We not good. We need the most high God. Has anybody else stopped in and you was able to talk to? A couple, a couple people, but I'm talking to you. I want you to know this truth. I you want you to know who you are. I want you to know who your brothers are. Who was there and I know who that is. That's right. That's the devil. That's the damn devil the Bible speaks of. I know. Right? I can't help you. Gentlemen. All right, Elder. Shalom, Elder. Check out the, the YouTube. It's on the bottom of the flyer. All right. All right, Elder. Where it goes on. Oh, they, they, nah, he did. He did. He did. We got a little something. Y'all sisters, come hear the word. Come hear the word, sis. Come hear the word. Come hear the word. Bring it out. And it says thus. Yet if they shall bethink themselves. Right. In the land whether they were carried captive. The Israelites. So we got to bethink ourselves. That's what we out here teaching our people. To bethink yourselves. Remember who you are. Call to mind the things of the past. Right. The Lord said remember the days of old. We got to bethink ourselves in the land whether we were carried captive. Right. And repent. Right. And make supplication. So we have to repent. Turn away from the things that we were doing. The idolatry we were carried away into. Right? The things of this world. We got to turn away from those things. Right? Rick? And make supplications. Right? Unto thee in the land of them that would, that carried them captive. Right? Sin. We have sinned. Uh-huh. And have done perversely. Right? We have committed wickedness. We have done what? We, we have, have committed, committed wickedness. wickedness. This has to be our mentality. Because I think sometimes when, when you come into this truth, right, you forget the basic scriptures. And you forget to apply them to yourself. That's you think right. they only apply to everybody who's not in this thing yet. But this thing still applies to us. That's right. right. The Lord said we got to, give me that, pray without ceasing. The Lord said we have to pray without ceasing, man. Bring it out, King. Right? Because we all going to fall short. That's right. right. Give me um, give me that in Romans 3 and 23. Right? Give me Romans 3 and 23. Right? Hey God, this, this, is, this is what we got to understand. Right? You're going to fall short in this walk. It's a long walk, man. That's it's right. a narrow path. Right? It's a very, very narrow path. Right? And you got, you got, you got death evil on both sides man oh. right so you can't straight to the right or to the left right bring that out okay this is the book of romans chapter 3 and verse number 23 bring it out oh. for all have sinned right and came short of the glory of god so all have sinned you're not gonna come into this truth and just not sin no more i don't i don't know who told you that 
right? Yes, we strive to be perfect, right? But you have to understand that this scripture is true, right? You're gonna fall short, right? But you gotta get back up in these last days. We was kind of going into this last night, right? When you fall short, bring this up. First Peter chapter four and verse eight. Bring right? it out. And above all things, have fervent charity right? among yourselves. So we have to have fervent charity among ourselves, right? For charity shall cover the multitudes of sins. And that's what we out here doing. So you might fall short, but you got to remember that you have ways to cover your sins. That's right. One of those ways is charity. This is the charity, man. Right? Give me Proverbs 11 and 25. Bring it out. How y'all doing, family? How y'all doing? Give me Proverbs 11 and 25. This is the book of Proverbs. Chapter 11. And verse number 25. Bring it out. The liberal soul shall be made fat. The liberal soul shall be made fat, Red. And he that watereth, watereth shall be watered also himself. Sister, where you going, sister? You know who this is? T. Who's that? Who's this, sister? Who they, so what is, so, so who, who do they tell us that is? They say that's Jesus, right? What does he really look like, sister? He looks like us, right? Let me show you. Let me show you. All right, sister, you're an Israelite, right? Lord willing, you come back. But if not, you got to repent. Read the commandments in these last days. All right, sister? All right. Bring that up, brother. He got to get this dog. <laughs> Read it again, King. Oh, the book of Proverbs, chapter 11, and verse number 25. Bring it out. The liberal soul shall be made fat. So we got to be liberal with this truth. We got to be We gotta be ready, instant, in season, and out. We got to want to come and feed our people. Read on. And he that watereth shall be watered off of himself. So when you water, meaning you come out here and sow those seeds of righteousness, right? We come out here, speak the word, the Lord willing, the most high gives the increase, man. Right? This is that charity that we're reading about in 1 Peter 4. Right? Because sometimes we forget that we have ways to cover our sins. Right? Give me um 2nd Ezra 16, 75. Right? You gotta get your dog, Elder. You gotta get your dog. I'm, I'm sorry, brother. Second Ezra chapter 16. Hold on, hold on. He's trying to pull him back. Second Ezra chapter 16 and verse 75. Bring it out. Be ye not afraid, neither doubt, right? For God is your God. Right, so we can't be afraid nor doubt, right? Sometimes we have doubt. Right? That doubt can seek into your mind. Am I really an Israelite? Can I really receive the kingdom of heaven? God. Right? Can I really keep the commandments? Can I really be blameless? Don't doubt. Right? Read on. <laughs> and the God of them who keep my commandments right? and precepts, saith the Lord God, let not your sins weigh you down. What did the Lord say? Let, let not, not your sins, sins weigh you down. down. The Lord said, don't let your sins weigh you down. Right, and we have to understand this in these last days. Your sins can get the best of you, right? Hold on, hold on, Elder. Hold on. You can't let your sins weigh you down, right, in these last days. Because we're all going to fall short, right, of the glory of God. But you can't let your sins weigh you down, right? It's like a weight, you know what I mean? When you, and brothers know when they go off, man. Every man know up here knows when he goes off, right? You know when you've done something contrary to the things the Lord has set before you. Right? And you're immediately in your conscience. You you start to you start to think, damn, am I gonna be judged? Is the Lord gonna take me out? Right? You can't let that weigh you down. It's more on that. And let not your iniquities lift up themselves. Right. So don't let your sins weigh you down in these last days. Right? Because the Lord, when you come out here and give this charity, right, the Lord is not unrighteous to forget your labor of love. Right? We're not out here for nothing. We're not out, and we're not out here for vainglory. We are here to cover the sins that we committed in the world to wake our people up. Lord willing, receive the kingdom of heaven. Right? We got to teach our people in these last days. Give me that. Uh, give me uh, Hebrews. Give me Hebrews uh, 6 and verse 10. Hebrews chapter 6 and verse 10. Bring it out. Come here to word, family. Come here to word. It's all love. Too cool for school. Bring it out. Bring it out. Hebrews chapter 6 and verse 10. Bring it out. 
for God is not unrighteous to forget your work, right? And labor of love, come on, which ye have showed toward his name. And that ye have ministered to the saints. And ye have what? That ye, ye have, have ministered, ministered to, to the saints. saints. That's that charity, man. We out here ministering to the saints. Because the Lord is not unrighteous to forget that labor. Right? That's why we out here feet hurting. Right? Standing out here for uh, 10 hours a day. Dealing, being long-suffering with people who come up here and are just blatantly rebellious. Trying to show themselves to be wise. But are really fools. We're long-suffering. Right? Because the Lord's not going to forget the labor we put in. The love that we show to our people. So you can't let your sins weigh you down. You got to get back up, come out here and do this work. Give me Sirach 14 and verse 1. Right? Give me Sirach 14 and 1. Whoever got it. Sirach 14 This is the book of Sirach, chapter 14 and verse number 1. Bring it out. Blessed is the man that hath not slipped with his mouth. Right? And is not pricked with the multitude of sins. And is not what? And is not pricked. With, with the, the multitude, multitude of sins. Hey man, you can't be pricked with the multitude of sins, man. Right? right? Cause like I said, when you go off, you know, them, the, these thoughts start entering into your conscience. Uh -huh. Right? Kind of pricks you. It cuts you. Cause you know the word is rooted in you. Right? You know, you know when you're going left and when you straying to and fro. Yeah. Right? And when you when you when you being uh, uh, unstable in the ways of the Lord, you know. Uh -huh. But you can't be pricked with a multitude of sins. Right? You can't let these things start to overrun you and overgrow you so much that you can't see your way out. Right? Read on. Read on. Blessed is he whose conscience has not condemned him. What did the Lord say? Blessed, Blessed is he, he whose, whose conscience, conscience has, has not, not condemned, condemned him. him. Blessed is he whose conscience has not condemned him. You can't be condemned of your own self. You got to understand that the Lord is going to forgive you. His mercy endure forever. Right? But you got to be sincere. You got to sincerely want to turn away from these things. That's right. Right? In 1 Kings 8 and 47, right, the Lord said we have to turn away Right, and make supplications for our land. Right? We gotta be sincere in these last days. Right? You can't you can't go off and now now you know you don't want to be around brothers anymore, you know, because you over there, man. We're gonna get on. Yeah, we're gonna get on you because we love you. You know what I'm saying? So you can't be pricked with a multitude of sins. You can't be condemned in your own conscience. Give me uh John 8 and 11. Give me John 8 and 11. Give me uh Ecclesiastes uh, 4 and 9. John chapter 8 and verse 11. Bring, Bring it out. out. She said, No man, Lord. Right? And Jesus said unto her, read, read up, read verse 10. Verse 10. When Yahweh had lifted up himself and saw none but the woman, he said unto her, Woman, where are those thine accusers? Right? Have no man condemned thee? Read on. She said, No man, Lord. Right? And Yahweh said unto her, Neither do I condemn thee. What did the Lord say? Neither, Neither do I, I condemn, condemn thee. thee. So you got to get back up in these last days. Because Yahweh Shai, well, he will forgive you, man. Right? But you got to truly believe that. It's more on that. Go and sin no more. What did the Lord say? Go, Go and, and sin, sin no more. more. You got to get back up and sin no more, man. That's right. You right. got to be sincere. And that's the truth for the scriptures, man. Right. You got to call on the Lord. Right? It's more on that. Yes. Bring, bring it up. Hold on, hold on. I just couldn't go to all Bring that up. No, 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 no. Uh, Ecclesiastes. Ecclesiastes. Right. So you can't be pricked with a multitude of sins, man. Right. You can't let you can't let the the world weigh you down. You gotta understand. The Lord told us when we came into this thing, we was gonna have temptation. That's right. Right. We was gonna be tempted when you came into this world. That's right. That's why you gotta count the cost. Give me. Um. Give me. You got something? Bring. You can bring out what you got. Bring that up. Ecclesiastes chapter four. And verse number nine. Bring it out. Two are better than one. What the Lord say? Two, Two are, are better, better than, than one. one. Right? Because they have a good reward for their labor. You have a good reward for your labor. Right? Laboring doesn't stop after you leave camp. Labor is calling your brother and exhorting. Right? When your brother falls short, you call him to let him know, hey brother, yeah, you went off, but we still gotta, we still got we still in this thing, man. That's right. Right? We still gotta endure to the end. You can't stop enduring because you went off one time. Alright? What's going on, sisters? How y'all doing? Look, we are here teaching our people that we the Israelites according to the Bible, right? Special people. So, what, what was your nationality? Man. Man. You know, that's what we're trying to teach you, sister. Come here. Man. All right, sister. Y'all Israelites according to the Bible. Y'all got to repent and keep the commandments in these last days. Right. right. We walk around with blue hair. Madness, man. I don't know what people got blue hair. It's going to be a spectacle, man. That's why we in astonishment to these other nations. Uh -huh. We walk around with blue hair. You see your brothers up here, and, and you just you too good, you too cool for school, cause nobody wants to talk to you. 
Right? Yeah. We're, not, we're not out here trying to holler at you. We're yeah. out here trying to give you the words of life. That's right? right? And that's, that's too much. Right? Nah, nah, nah. I thought y'all wanted something else. Nah, man. We want to show you who you are according to the scriptures. Tell you to wake up and repent in these last days, man. Right? Let you right. die because we love you. We truly love you. <laughs> these niggas out here in the streets, right, that's hollering at you at, while you walking outside the club, they don't love you. That's right. Right? Them brothers want a piece of meat. Them brothers want a fun time. We out here trying to tell you who you are and that the Lord loves you. But you got to keep the commandments, but you turn a blind eye to it, man. That's why you're going to get judged in these last days. Right? Because you... The, give me that um, in 2nd uh, Ezra, uh, chapter 9. Why they had yet liberty. Right? And this scripture really hits home, man. Because we see it every day out here with our people. Right? They, they want to scoff. They want to mock. They want to be overwise. Right? And they don't know a damn thing. They have an evil eye when they see us up here. Right? Cause we don't look like the, the normal everyday. Nigga, we up here with fringes on. We got Bibles in our hands. Brothers got staffs. We got Mitri's on. We out here speaking loud and being bold for the Lord. We got signs and posters, right? They, this is a strange thing to them, right? But they don't understand that they've been made strange unto the Lord. Right? Bring that out, okay? Second Ezra chapter 9 and verse 11. Bring it out. And they that have loathed my law, right? While they yet had liberty. And our people have liberty in Yahweh Shah right now. Right, you have liberty to repent. Right, in the days of old, you were cut off from the people if you weren't circumcised on the eighth day. You missed Passover, you were cut off. It ain't no hope. Right, but now you got liberty, liberty to Hamashiach Yahawashah, man. Right, but you loathe the law. Read on. And when as yet place of repentance was open unto them. Hey, brother, come here to work. Brother, come here to work, eh? See that? Prime example. Read it again. When as yet place of repentance was open unto them, right? Understood not. They did what? Understood, understood not. not. They don't even understand what's going on up here, man. Mm. It's a whole war going on on a spiritual level. And they can't perceive it or see it. Right? Read on. But despise it. The same must know it after death by pain. The same must what? The same must know it after death, death by, by pain. pain. They're gonna have to know it after death by pain, man. Because they don't understand that denying us, you really denying the Lord. Right? right? Come here, brother. Come here to work, eh? Bring it out, eh? This is the book of Nehemiah, chapter 9 and verse 29. Bring, bring it, it out. out. And testified against them that thou mightest bring them again unto thy law. Right? Yet they dealt proudly. They did what? They Yet they dealt proudly. Now people deal proudly, man. That's they got right. too much pride. Uh -huh. You on your headphones, the music blaring. It's too good. He about to get to my favorite part. I, 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 yeah, that can wait. Right? Read on. And hearken not unto thy commandment. And did what? And, and hearken not, not unto, unto thy, thy commandment. And this is the commandment up here, man. We up here keeping the commandments, trying to tell you to keep the commandments. But you want to hearken not. Read. But sin against thy judgments. Right? Which if a man do, he shall live in them. Right? And withdrew their shoulder and hardened their neck and would not hear. See that? And our people don't want to hear in these last days. They stiff neck, man. And uncircumcised their heart. Right? Bring that out, King. Give me uh, Zechariah chapter 7, verse 11. Bring, Bring it out. out. But they refused to hearken and pulled away the shoulder, right? And stopped their ears that they should not hear. See that? And it's a continual thing. That's what the Lord has to tell us over and over again. Because He said our people are stiff necked right. and uncircumcised in heart. Right? Get that in Deuteronomy 10. Um, it's like. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 10, verse number 16. Bring it out. Circumcise, therefore, the foreskin of your heart. Start at 15. Verse number 15. Right. Only the Lord had a delight in thy fathers to love them. Right. And he chose their seed after them. He chose us. He literally chose the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans walking around thinking they just niggas today. He chose us, Rich. Even you, above all people, as is this day. You heard that, brother? The Lord chose as you. The Lord chose you above all people as it is this day. You still chosen, brother. Right? Read on. Circumcise therefore the foreskin of your heart. What did the Lord say? Circumcise, circumcise therefore, therefore the, the foreskin, foreskin of, of your heart. heart. Right? And be no more stiff neck. So, brother, you got to circumcise the foreskin of your heart in these last days, which is your mind. Right? When the scriptures talk about your heart, it's talking about your mind. Right? So, you got to circumcise that thing. You got to be open to receive the words of life in these last days. Right. right to come into the understanding the knowledge of truth that you're an Israelite according to the Bible and you have an obligation to the Most High because your forefathers entered into a covenant with you right so you have an obligation in these last days to keep the commandments 
You got to teach your children to keep the commandments, right? You got to teach your, your woman at home, right? You got to teach your brothers and sisters out here in the streets who don't know who they are. And that's what we out here to do. That's to right. tell you that you're an Israelite, gang, okay? right? You got a couple minutes to hit a word? All right, well, get back on the two road, minutes, right? brother. Okay, let me, let me, let me, two minutes. Let me give you a couple of scriptures. Let me give you a couple of scriptures. All right, give me, um, let's get Deuteronomy 2. Let's get it. Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 15. So you familiar yeah. with the story of Moses? Right, so he, his people were what in Egypt? What were they doing in Egypt? They were in bondage. They were in bondage and captivity, right? So he had to tell Pharaoh, let, me, let my people go. So read on. This is after that, right? Read. But it shall come to pass. If thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, come on, to observe to do all his commandments and his statutes which I command thee this day, come on, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. So he told the Israelites, the Lord just delivered you out of Egypt. Now he's giving you law, statutes, and commandments. If you reject these things, he's gonna put curses on you, right? So these are some of the curses. You familiar with this? So you know you're Israelite. How you know you're Israel? says according to what you believe all right i'm gonna show you what we believe verse 16. verse 16 bring it up curse shalt thou be in the city so who's cursed in the city right when you go to uh when you go to uh, los angeles right cotton california who's cursed there who's in who's in blood games pyro right crips shooting each other down what about new york Who, who's in the ghettos and the slums there us right horsemen Right, anywhere you go, it's us. We're cursed in the city. Is the Chinese man cursed in the city? Have you ever seen the Chinese ghetto? You've never seen it, right? What about an Arab ghetto? You ever seen it? So they're not cursed in the cities, right? They, they literally are in our corner stores, selling us all type of wickedness. Cigarettes, right? They're selling you pipes, right? They're selling you condoms, which promotes uh, uh, premarital sex. You understand? Read on. And cursed shalt thou be in the field. The Lord said they would be cursed in the field. How was we cursed in the field? Where we at, right? We were slaves here. We was picking cotton, getting our backs beaten, getting buck broken, broken, getting raped, getting our children taken from us. The Lord said these things would happen to the Israelites, right? Get up uh, 48. I know you say he showed on time. Get 48. Verse 48. Bring it up. Therefore shalt thou serve thine enemies, right? Which the Lord shall send against thee. How you gonna serve them? And hunger. And hunger. So when we hungry, we gotta serve our enemies, right? You know how? No, 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 no. We serve our enemies, literally, brother. Meaning, you got to go to Harris Teeter if you want groceries. That's right. Right? You can't come to this brother and say, I need a half pound of beef. I need a rack of lamb. I need all types of herbs and spices. You can't come to him for that. Uh, you got to go to your enemy, brother. That's right. Because you serving them to this day. You work all week to get a paycheck, right? Just to go spend it with them again. That's right. Right? So you serving your enemies in hunger, Red. Therefore shalt thou serve... Serve thy enemies which the Lord shall send against thee in hunger. In hunger. And in thirst. And in thirst. So when you thirsty, it's the same thing. That water falls freely from the sky. But they sell it to you and tell you it's what? Oh, it's a uh, pH balanced water. It's the sign. It's their part. Read on. And in nakedness. The clothes on your back. We picked all the cotton but have no textile mills, right? So we serving them in, in nakedness, right? The shoes, the Nikes. You know what I mean? Your hand shirt. That's from your enemy, read on. And in want of all things. Whatever you want. Anything you can name right now, it comes from them. Right? Birth certificate, your education, right? You want a bank loan, right? Read on. And he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck. And he shall what? And, and he, he shall, shall put a yoke, yoke of iron, iron upon, upon thy neck. neck. Who did that happen to? Who had yokes of iron on their neck? The slaves, right? Your ancestors, right? But these things are perpetual. Right, so this is a sign and a wonder to the Israelites who they will be in these last days. He said he will put a yoke of iron upon your neck, Greg. Right? Until he have destroyed you. So those chains came off once we were destroyed. So if the Lord is talking to the Israelites, we would have to be who? We have to be the Israelites. So what, so what does that mean we have to do in these last days? How do we love? Get, get uh, John uh, 14, 15. Uh, come on, let me get, let me get one more. One more. I gotta get this time back. I gotta get back on the road. I'm not even from here, man. All right, brother. All right, King. You're an Israelite, brother. You gotta keep quiet, y'all. I appreciate it. All right, brother.